Good afternoon. Sorry to uh, interrupt your lively conversations, but it's in a good cause. My name is Diana Sorensen. Uh, together with Francisco Fernandez Moreno, we direct the Observatorio, the Cervantes Observatorio at Harvard. And I'm delighted to, to welcome you all to this open house and to uh, the 2016-17 academic year, which I'm sure will, will, be, will be as uh, filled with interesting events as the previous three years have been, all thanks to Paco and his team, who really work miracles, convening of a whole variety of different audiences around the general question of Hispanic culture in the US. Um, and I should have said Hispanic cultures, mm -hmm. uh, which is a key uh, plural. Uh, this year, we launch with a Latino celebration and a bunch of very, very interesting initiatives that we are uh, collaborating on with Ethnicity Migration Rights, which is a committee that gathers a lot of our Latino students at Harvard. So uh, it promises to be interesting from every point of view. Uh, I am very pleased that we have the Consul General of Spain here, as well as the Consul General of Colombia, and uh, they have uh, something to say to you, so I will turn it over to them, and then afterwards there'll be a musical celebration, and I'll let uh, Paco sort of direct the, the different events as of right now. Thanks, Paco. Thank you, Diana. Welcome to the Observatorio. Um, I welcome you all uh, on behalf of the, all the people working in and for the Cervantes Institute here in, in Harvard University, Victoria Whitney, Clara Gonzalez Tosat until today. And since today, Rosana Hernandez, she's the brand new uh, Rafael Del Pino Foundation's fellow for the, this academic year, 16, 17. So thank you, Clara, for these two wonderful years of working in the observatorio, where is Clara? Clara, thank you so much. And Rosanna, welcome on board. Well, uh, I don't want to steal time to the really important things today. I mean music and tapas. <laughs> Yet I would like to say a word about the observatorio activities for this new academic year. I'm sure you all know that the observatorio fosters studies about the Spanish language in the United States and promotes the identity of Hispanic and Latino cultures, cultures with this uh, S. We host uh, on-campus activities such as lectures, debates, uh, panels, conferences, among other cultural activities. And we prepare studies and reports about the uh, current situation of Spanish in the United States and Latino community in the United States from different perspectives from uh, linguistic, sociological, political, uh, cultural, and economical, among others. All these programs, are possible thanks to the sponsorship of Santander Bank and Santander University. So thank you for being here and thank you for your support also. Uh, we have ready for you today the last printed uh, observatorio report. Uh, it's a report coordinated and written by Harvard professor Paola uh, Uccelli about academic language in, and bilingualism in US Latino students. And you may take your copy for free uh, when you leave. And some hours ago, uh, the observatorio uploaded the last report about Spanish language publishing in the United States. The new academic year, uh, this new academic year, the observatorio prepared for you all an exciting program of activities and projects, including conversations in the observatorio uh, with Andres Trapiello, for example, about, or about a conversation about immigration. We have a training for teachers of Spanish with a special attention to Spanish as a, a heritage language. We are also launching a new edition of the Cervantes Symposium, Reshaping Hispanic uh, Cultures by May uh, 2017. 
and the observatory will host an important forum about Spanish language in medicine, Spanish language in public health services in the United States. But the observatory mission is not only to organize these visible uh, activities. We do some other things as important as roundtables and as a uh, report. So for instance, uh, as Diana said, we are close partners of Ethnicity Immigration Rights Committee, and we co-sponsor public activities as well as the uh, working Latino group. And the observatory provides financial support uh, for conducting thesis research, research on Hispanic issues. In 2016, this year, students who have received financial assistance from the observatory are Itzel Vasquez uh, with a project about the impact of climate change uh, and drought in Latino population, Alison Perez with a project about relations between Cuban and US agriculture, or Jasmine Salazar with a project about parenting practices among immigrants. And uh, on the other hand, the observatory sponsors annually the prize for the best doctoral thesis, senior thesis on Latino studies, and supports senior research uh, projects like Translatinidad by Professor uh, Garcia Peña or Setting Up Bilingual Learners for Academic Success uh, by Professor uh, Paola Uccelli. And during this 16, 17 year, the arrival of the first researcher visiting professor of the observatory is expected. The first guest will be Professor Alejandro Madrid from Cornell University, proposed by the Department of Music. So you see, we don't get bored. <laughs> this open house today wants to be a Latino celebration, celebration of Hispanic diversity. And for that reason, we have these two special guests, and I would like to ask them a word. They are diplomatic uh, representatives, um, the Consul General of uh, Colombia, Gida Mora, and the Consul General of Spain, Fernando Alvar Gonzalez. He's just arriving as a new Consul General of Spain. So welcome and good luck in your new uh, duty. Uh, the Consul General of Mexico uh, wanted to be here today, but uh, this evening, later, Mexico is celebrating El Grito, the Mexican Independence Grito, so she, he's not here today. But please let me introduce uh, the Consul General of Colombia, Gida Mora, and the Consul General of Spain, Fernando Alvar González. Hi, good afternoon. Buenas tardes para todos. Buenas tardes. Um, I want to say thank you for this opportunity for um, for this open house, and I have the pleasure for deliver the Colombian Dictionary and Representation of Colombia. Quiero agradecer la oportunidad de participar en esta jornada de puertas abiertas aquí y tengo el placer de entregar el Diccionario de Colombianismos en representación de mi país, Colombia. This dictionary is a masterpiece of our language, our identity, or our expression. Este diccionario es una obra maestra de nuestra lengua, nuestra identidad y nuestra expresión. This dictionary represents a strong effort by, uh, by the Minister of Culture, Cari Cuervo Institute, and Colombian Language Academy to collect this work, and are used in Colombia and offer characters as our culture. Este diccionario representa el gran esfuerzo realizado por el Ministerio de Cultura, el Instituto Caro y Cuervo y la Academia de Lengua de Colombia para recoger todas estas palabras que se utilizan en Colombia y que a menudo nos caracteriza como una cultura. Uh, with this dictionary, um, the, the person maybe understand a little more the Colombian people and feel closer the beauty of my country. Really, it's very beautiful. <laughs> Con este diccionario el lector podrá entender un poco más nuestras costumbres y sentirse muy cerca de nuestro eh, hermoso país. De verdad, es muy hermoso. Uh, for example, shampoos is doesn't refer a hair product. Shampoos is a typical drink. You understand, right? <laughs> it's a typical drink for Valle del Cauca. This is from um, corn, sugar, a passion fruit. Por ejemplo, shampoos. No se refiere a un producto del cabello. Champús es una bebida típica del Valle del Cauca que eh, tiene maíz, azúcar y eh, 
En inglés se dice passion fruit, pero para nosotros es lulo. <laughs> it's, it's something similar. <laughs> um, um, I want to say thank you for um, this observatory. Um, please, uh, for receive uh, Francisco, I, I want to give you this. This is the first um, Diccionario de Colombianismos. Uh, I give you this uh, like a uh, gift from my country. Um, please, please, please uh, read this book and learn more from my country, okay? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. And thank you, thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, please, please enjoy Latin America. Please, if you want to go to Colombia, you are welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Bueno, yo creo que siendo, uh, being the fourth person and the last person to speak, I, I can be very brief. Um, well, uh, I have just arrived. Uh, he llegado hace muy poco, uh, hace cuatro semanas, y todavía no estoy del todo instalado. I'm not uh, all completely uh, settled down. But uh, there we are. We have here, Spain has a small consulate, not uh, very many people looking after the work. Sometimes we have to make people wait a little because, uh, well, I think that uh, the Spanish collectivity and the people who are asking for visas to go to Spain are uh, more and more uh, numerous. And uh, I want to thank uh, Francisco and uh, he's uh, doing a very good job here in, in such a, uh, an interesting uh, theme, the, the, the position of, of Spanish in, in the world and in particular in the United States. I am impressed that uh, here when you go to, to restaurants or when you go to shops, uh, you always find a Latino wanting to speak with you and uh, make things uh, easy for you. I, I would, uh, for the moment, only uh, tell you that I have just written some words in the uh, web page uh, of the consulate. I refer to them because I don't want to tire you with uh, personal details. Uh, let us perhaps toast uh, for the good functioning and uh, success of the Observatorio and uh, Francisco uh, as his uh, director for the time uh, coming up. Well, thank you very much. Thank you so much for this wonderful gift, this dictionary of uh, colonialisms. And thank you, Consul, for, for your presence, and, and again, good luck. And thank you so much. Um, finally, the reason why we are here today is to enjoy the open house, and to enjoy the wonderful music by Berkeley College uh, School of Music. We always thank the collaboration with Berkeley College, Berkeley Latino, and Berkeley uh, Mediterranean Music Institute. And again, we have to express special gratitude to Javier Limon. He's a big star flamenco uh, in, in flamenco and Latino international music. Eight times Grammy winner. He's a Spanish guitarist, flamenco guitarist, singer, singer writer, and producer. Javier Limon has been many times behind names like Paco de Lucia, Bebo Valdés, Diego El Cigala, or Estrella Morente. And today, Javier Limon is playing and performing for the Cervantes Observatorio. Thank you so much, Javier, for that. Thanks, everyone, for coming up. Enjoy the performance, enjoy the wine, and after the music, enjoy the tapas also. And now put two hands together to welcome Javier Limón and the Berkeley College musicians. Javier. Hoy eh, estamos muy orgullosos y contentos de participar de nuevo en un evento de, de este nivel. Eh, recuerdo que la primera vez que se presentó este observatorio en Boston hace ya unos cuantos años, eh, ya estábamos presentes y hemos ido siguiendo la labor del observatorio durante estos años, ha sido maravillosa. 
eh, y, y creemos que, que realmente ha sido algo bueno que ha aportado mucho. Por lo tanto, gracias a todos, a Harvard University y al Santander y, a, y al Cervantes, porque cre creemos que es algo que ha venido muy bien a la ciudad y a toda la comunidad. No voy a hablar más porque obviamente eh, la música es lo principal. Hoy tenemos una actuación con dos artistas eh, muy especiales, a los que, de los que luego diré unas breves palabras, pero previamente, este año hemos empezado en Berkeley la primera clase de songwriting en español que nunca se había dado antes en Berkeley, aprender a, a componer y a estudiar a, a Sabina y a, y a Silvio Rodríguez y a Serrat, muy bonito. Entonces hay dos alumnos a los que como este año es el centenario del genial Rubén Darío, les hemos pedido que nos, que nos musicaran solo, solamente para, para el día de hoy poema. dos poemas, uno cada uno, de Rubén Darío, pero con el lenguaje musical de, de hoy, de la juventud, ¿no? Entonces, previa a nuestra actuación, me gustaría presentaros a Victoria Julián, que, que os, va a hacer, os van a hacer Jaime, a Victoria Jaime, al que llevo llamando Julián dos meses. <risa> Para los que pido un fuerte aplauso, Víctor, por favor, primero. Alejandrino como el de Hugo espíritu de España este vale una copa de champaña como aquel vale un vaso de bombino más a uno y otro pájaro divino la primitiva cárcel es extraña El barro te maltrata, el río daña Que vuelo y libertad Son su destino cuyas alas doro y hago brillar con mi moderno esmalte tiene la libertad con el decoro y vuelve como al puño el jerifalte te riendo del azul rimas de oro Se llama Dice Mía, de Rubén Darío. I'm uh -huh. 
salida Luego mariposa De color De rosa Un zafiro inquieto Dijo mi secreto Has sabido tu secreto un día Gracias. Gracias, maestro. Bueno, pues ahora me gustaría presentaros a uno de los músicos cantantes con los que vamos a compartir esta bonita tarde bostoniana. Ella es de Venezuela y su nombre es Nela Rojas. Pido un fuerte aplauso, por favor. Uno, dos. ¿Cómo están? <ríe> Yo muy bien, gracias. Monto. El, cri vale. El criterio de selección de las canciones de hoy es básicamente que sean bonitas. <ríe> Qué importante. te vaya bonito ojalá que se acaben tus penas que te digan que ya yo no existo que conozcas personas más buenas que te den lo que no pude darte aunque yo te haya dado de todo nunca más volveré a molestarte yo te adoré te perdí ya ni modo cuántas cosas quedaron prendidas hasta dentro del fondo de mi alma Cuántas luces quedaron encendidas y yo no sé dónde voy a apagarlas. Cuántas cosas quedaron prendidas hasta dentro del fondo de mi alma. Cuántas luces quedaron encendidas. Yo no sé cómo voy a apagarlas. Ojalá que mi amor no te duela Que te olvides 
olvides de mí para siempre Que se llene de sangre tus penas Que te llene la vida de suerte Yo no sé si tu ausencia me mate Aunque yo tengo el pecho de acero Y que nadie me diga cobarde sin saber hasta dónde la quiero Cuántas cosas quedaron prendidas Hasta dentro del fondo de mi alma Cuántas luces quedaron encendidas Y yo no sé cómo voy a apagarlas Cuántas cosas quedaron prendidas hasta dentro del fondo de mi alma Cuántas luces quedaron encendidas Yo no sé cómo voy a apagarlas Cómo voy a apagarlas Cómo voy a apagarlas Gracias. Gracias. en que nos vimos la noche cuando nos conocimos adoro las cosas que me dices nuestros ratos felices los adoro vida mía adoro la forma en que sonríes El modo en que a veces me riñes Adoro el río de tus labios Los besos que nos damos Los adoro, vida mía Y es que muero por tenerte junto a mí Cerca, muy cerca de mí no separarme de ti Y es que eres mi existencia Mi sentir Eres mi luna, eres mi sol Eres mi noche de amor Adoro La forma en que sonríes El modo En que a veces me riñes Adoro el dulce de tus labios, la forma en que besamos, los adoro, vida mía. Adoro, ay, adoro. Yo te adoro Tú eres todo Yo te adoro Ay, te adoro, te adoro, te adoro Luego 
eres todo Yo te adoro vida mía Gracias Gracias Me gustaría invitar, ¿puedo tener un can I have a little bit more of my guitar in general? No, I mean playing. Uh, well, I'm playing. Uh, I, me gustaría invitar, I'd like to invite this great musician. He is from uh, he was born in Iraq, but uh, he's from uh, Jordania and is probably my favorite musician in in the world. I, I played with him and I record with him a lot of uh, songs and a lot of records. He's coming to Madrid now on October 8th to play with me in the National Auditorium in Madrid. And he played with Jose Merced, with Paco de Lucia's band. He's really amazing. So please welcome with a, a big hug. Uh, Laif. Laif. And my roommate too. <laughs> <laughs>
ocultes tu pena, pena de tu corazón. Cuéntame tu amargura pa' contártela yo. Mi niña Lola, mi niña Lola, ya no tiene la carita del color de la amapola. Mi niña Lola, mi niña Lola, ya no tiene la carita del color de la amapola. Oh, love. 
y no sabíamos hacer Volver de Carlos Gardel o Volver, Volver. Aún no lo sabemos. Aún no lo sabemos bien. Pero gracias por haber estado aquí con nosotros. Ha sido un placer. Nos despedimos. Fuerte aplauso para estos genios que son increíbles. Muchas gracias. Gracias a ti, Javi, por la invitación. Amén. Sin duda. Yeah. 
y te nombra. Ah, pues no se lo sabía. Yo tampoco, ya va. Con el alma aferrada, que a un dulce recuerdo que lloro otra vez. Gracias. 